All right, I just want to share this. Uh, I was having trouble out of my Dremel, and uh, the engine or the motor was vibrating really bad. And I started to buy a new one. And then I remembered doing, you know, when I was a kid, my dad had an old skill saw and he had to change the brushes in it from time to time, you know, because he used it a lot. But I didn't, I never did know what this little screwdriver was for on my Dremel, on my tool. This is the, uh, the chuck tool. And it's actually to, there's a little cap here, if you can see that. You loosen this little cap up. And there's your brushes. It's got, I don't know what it's made out of, but mine was, mine was wore down pretty good and the, the motor was vibrating really bad. If I can get them back in now. Wow. I'm having a heck of a time. It's a really tight fit. But anyway, it just sits down in there and it's got this little cap. It's threaded on the inside of the cap. And you're just pushing down on there. Give it a good tighten. And the motor, like it, it would vibrate in my hand so bad, I thought the motor was bad until I did a little research. And, and I double checked and made sure that that would that could cause it. But anyway, it runs smooth now. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, in case you uh, got a Dremel or or something similar, and you think it's bad. Uh, check and see if it has the the brush in it uh, or brushes. I'm not sure exactly how you say it. Or if that's what it's called, I always thought it was brushes. But anyway, a lot of a lot of brush tools have replaceable brushes, and, uh, and you know a lot of things are brushless now. You know that you buy, but I've had this Dremel for years, and I, I really didn't want to get rid of it. I use it all the time. But I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.